What is up, Whiskey Chaser fam? Welcome back to another video. It is freezing outside currently. Let's see, it is 15 degrees. That's, that's, that's not right. That's not good. Uh, so because it's 15 degrees out, I'm not riding at all, because it's cold, man. A couple of days ago, I posted up on my Instagram, we should maybe do like a Q&A video. And now I have some questions and stuff that I wanted to answer, all right fun times. Real quick, before we get into it, I just want to let everybody know that the core timepieces watch is still up for grabs. Look at this. Oh, this thing is so nice, dude. And I'm really sad that I'm going to have to give it away. There's only, I think, 17 spots left or something like that. So if you want to get in on this, it's a $20 donation to Forgotten Angels. All you got to do is send it to me on PayPal. And I got your name and all that kind of stuff. Once all the rest of the spots are gone, I'm going to throw those into a number picker, blah, blah thing. And then we're going to pick a winner. And uh, then we're going to donate all of the proceedings to that to the Forgotten Angels campground, the, camp, the compound, the, the association, whatever you want to call it. Uh, changing people's lives, man. That's what we're doing. So thank you to Core Time Pieces for that. Uh, everything's down in the description below if you want to see about getting a hold of that thing. All right, on to the questions. So these are from Instagram. Thinking about doing a loop through Mexico? Want to go? Journey with Jerry asks. Uh, yeah, I do want to go. I don't know if I can <laughs> because that takes a lot of time, a lot of money and uh, that kind of stuff. But I mean, what I want to, absolutely. Question two, favorite bike from each region of the earth? Well, uh, obviously I'm a big fan of like bobbers and choppers, cruisers, that kind of thing. I've definitely bobbed my Yamaha out quite a lot and it's very uh, street cruiser style bike. And then I have the Harley, which is very old school, I think looking. Uh, bike it's it's not set up like a typical Dyna it's uh, more of that um that older easy rider style without it being like an actual easy rider chopper because it's got like the big apes and it's got some chrome on it and you know like but it also has like the blacked out engine and stuff like that from the UK those uh, bikes that they ride out there those like really quick uh, ADV style street or whatever bikes are really cool the Royal Enfield uh, sort of military-esque bike is really neat, I think. The Japanese style, um, I can't remember what they're called, but they're like the crazy paints and the neons and the outrageous seats and, and stuff like that. Those are really neat. Uh, I mean, there's so many different bikes from all over the world, it's really hard to pick just one style, but I mean, I do like, I like bike, man. It's, it's, it's cool. Best barbecue in Texas. I did eat barbecue a lot, but not like a crazy amount. So I went to Texas State, which is San Marcos, Texas. It's just south of Austin. Just on the other side of San Marcos, on the other side of 35 is Lockhart, which is the barbecue capital of Texas. And they have like Kreitz Market, which has been there since 1899. They have Blacks, they have Smitty's. Uh, it's basically some of the best low and slow style barbecue you're gonna get. Basically what happened was like, German immigrants who didn't get off in New York. They had gone around through the Gulf. They went straight up through Texas and they kind of settled in this central region. That's why like you have the Spotzel Brewery in China, Texas. You have New Braunfels, which has Wurstfest, which is a German beer and, and a Bratwurst festival. Uh, you have a lot of German influence out in that region. They smoked their meats because they didn't have refrigeration. So they smoked their meats with the Texas post oak that was out there. It became really good. It preserves the meat. It also is just absolutely delicious. So that's probably the best barbecue in my opinion, but there absolutely could be better. Um, good questions, Jerry. Thanks, buddy. One place you'd never ride in again? Uh, that is so difficult. I hated riding through Jersey every time I went, and I know I always give Jersey crap, but the biggest reason is because you can't pump your own gas there, and it's a pain in the ass. 
to try to like get it through the person's head that you don't want them pumping the gas into your bike. You know, it's not like a car, so it's a little bit different and you're like, bro, just let me do it. I mean, Jersey's fine. I always give them shit, but you know, it's really just the gas thing that I'm kind of always perturbed about. That was Skittles McDiddles. Colleen, thank you, Colleen. High Tech Redneck says, take us all to work, make a video showing off the brewery. Do they have live music? Any good porters or stouts? I did talk to him about this a little bit. So I did do the video where I was showing what I do for work at the brewery. He was talking more in particular of like the tap room in the brewery, uh, the way that it operates, stuff like that. If you wanna see that, I am more than happy to show it off. It's really, I don't know, I guess it's not too interesting, but people might be interested in something like that. Uh, in terms of like, do they have live music? Yes, every night there's live music at the tap room. Uh, and then any good porters or stouts? Yeah, so we actually do barrel aged porters and stouts we just did the Queen's Legacy which is a Caribbean style stout it is a collaboration with Turner House Brewery which is a black owned brewery in Chicago and with Uncle Nearest if you guys don't know who Uncle Nearest is he was considered the first african-american master distiller in the United States and the Uncle Nearest Brewery is a family-owned brewery from Uncle Nearest down through his ancestors and they still operate that today so we used Uncle nearest barrels we collaborated with turner house brewery and then we made the queen's legacy caribbean style stout it's pretty good uh, it's pretty tasty and then uh yeah we do porters every year we do like a barrel aged porter right now actually we have an imperial red but i think we're gonna do a porter or a quad in the other barrels that we got which were george dickel barrels so that should be pretty good vices of a viking asked if i was a worm would you still love me Yes, of course I would. Mr. Number 1615, question one. What's your biggest regret in life? Could be about motorcycles, jobs, life stuff, any category of school. I regret, well, I don't know. I always say I regret going back to college because it left me with a giant, massive student loan bill that is you know, more than what a mortgage costs basically every month. But at the same time, I also learned a lot about life by going back to you know San Marcos and, and working there and going to school. I met Parker there, found my love for motorcycling again. <sighs> it's a double-edged sword because yeah, I do hate the fact that now I have this giant burden to carry for the next however many decades of trying to pay off this massive student loan debt, but there's also some good things that happened. I don't know. I don't really think that there is much that I that I really regret. I do regret I had uh, when I lived in Austin, I had started buying Bitcoin whenever I was like 23, 24. I sold it all like a couple years later. And then like six years after that, it shot up to like $60,000 and I had a bunch of it. So I literally wouldn't have to worry about money. And now <laughs> I don't have any of it because I sold it all. I did make money off of it, so whatever, but I could have made a lot more. Question two, what's your overall life goal? Where do you strive for in the future? Five, 10 years down the line or further? That's tough too. I mean, I want to eventually have a house. I want to, I want to buy a house. I want to buy some property where I can have a garage to keep all my stuff in because right now it's all outside and I can see it all covered in snow and it sucks. Uh, it's all exposed to the elements all the time. It's tough to work on. I would be able to like buy cool cars and motorcycles and rip them all apart and keep them apart for as long as I needed to in order to uh, do what I wanted. But right now I can't really do that right now as if I take something apart, I have to be able to put it back together enough to either move it or to make sure that it is going to be covered by something to keep it away from the elements. So that's kind of like my next big thing is, um, you know, trying to find some place with, with a carport or a garage or something. And also I'd like to own it. I think that would be really great. I'd also like to grow this channel. I'd like to uh, get to 10,000 subscribers. I think that would be really, really cool. Hopefully that'll happen before the next five to 10 years, but uh, you never know with the growth rate that YouTube is uh, working with right now. <laughs> I don't know. Kenny Quest Show asks, can a motor motorcycle start in one, can a motorcycle start in one degree weather? Yes. All right, that wasn't quite one degree. It was 
pretty damn cold though. I think it was like nine or eight degrees out that day. Big Rob Moda Vlog asks, do you miss riding slash living in New York? Yes, I do. Very much so. Riding, not necessarily so much. Riding in the city is really not that bad. It, and people all the time were like, man, I can't believe that you, that you are able to you know, go out there and navigate with all these crazy drivers and da da da. Now, Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, terrible places to ride because people kind of just do what they want. It's like the Wild West out there, but actually in the city of Manhattan, it's really not that bad. It's very structured. You can go up and down the avenues very quickly because it just goes like green light, green light, green light, green light, green light. It's getting across the city that's the difficult part. Whenever I worked in the West Village, it would take me about 25 minutes to drive to ride to work and it would take me about 45 minutes to take the train. So it was a huge pain in the butt to take the train. And I really liked riding down there a lot better. Plus, whenever it did like rain or snow or anything like that, they're kind of prepared for that. Yeah, you might get like a quick flash flood, but then, you know, like three hours later, it's all gone basically. And then with the snow, they already have the plows out, plowing the roads, like even when the snow is still coming down. So they, they kind of know what they're doing. And, and also I miss living there. I miss, uh, you know, I miss the culture. I miss the, the lifestyle. It's, it's very cool. Uh, it's very nice to be here and have like a separate room to like have all my stuff in like another bedroom and like a living room and a driveway, <laughs> you know, and things like that. Uh, you take those for granted. But even though we were living in a very, very small, tiny little apartment, it was still in the middle of everything you could get kind of anywhere within 20 minutes. And there was tons to do, tons to do. I know everybody says it's so much more expensive too, but you're also getting paid better. So really it's like the dollar to dollar ratio is a lot better. I do miss, miss New York a lot. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be in Tennessee, but yeah, I do miss New York a lot. Seth, I want to ride asks, funniest new rider fail that happened to you. And then he puts his, which is first time I rode to a bar to meet friends for a beer. I pulled up and immediately dropped my bike in the wet leaves on the street. Very similar story, my man. I bought my first motorcycle, which was a 08 Suzuki GS 500 F, which is like a sport cruiser. I literally, I bought it at the Suzuki dealer, went outside, turned it on, drove to the corner and fell over. <laughs> I made it about 25 feet outside of the driveway uh, before that thing just fell right over. So yeah, I feel your pain, man. Uh, luckily, I don't think anyone was around to see me or if they were, they didn't yell or anything, whatever, I don't know, but that's happened. Uh, also, there was one time where I rode up to the back entrance of the gym that I would go to and I uh, rolled up on the side and there was like sand and I put my foot down and my foot slipped in the sand and it went poop. And that was on the uh, Sportster. Yeah, that was a fun time. Stuart Ricardo has a couple questions. He said, if you were on SpongeBob, would you eat the Krabby Patties? All the Krabby Patties. Yeah, bro, of course. If you're on SpongeBob, would you eat all the Krabby Patties? That's, they're delicious, apparently. He asks, what is the speed of an unladen African swallow, he clarifies African, uh, and that would be 20.1 miles per hour. Uh, do you <laughs> do you dream about riding Harleys or Yamahas when you see Playboy bunnies as a backpack? <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, funny story, the Dyna does not have rear pegs, even though it has a rear seat, so nobody can ride as a backpack on the Dyna yet until I get some rear pegs on that, but you can ride on the back of the Yamaha. You know what it is. Uh, he says, can you dance better than a dad at a wedding? No, I cannot because dads are the best dancers at weddings. McDonald's or Whataburger? I don't eat McDonald's. Whataburger all freaking day. I haven't had McDonald's in probably like 14 years or something like that. Just not a fan. And Whataburger is amazing. I actually have some Whataburger jalapeno ranch and I have some Whataburger spicy ketchup from H-E-B that I smuggled into the state <laughs> in my refrigerator right now. Bueller 1203, what kind of hair products do you use? Does it help your helmet not to stink? Serious question <laughs> or not, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't use hair product. I just uh, shampoo and condition it like normal and I don't put anything in it. And then does it help your helmet not to stink? When my hair is not stinky, yeah, it does help my helmet to not stink. 
And there you go. All right, that's all the Instagram comments that I got. I did have some that were on the story that I posted, but I didn't check them quickly enough and they were deleted. So I don't know what those ones were and I cannot for some reason find them. I'm not quite sure what the deal is with that. So now we'll go over to YouTube and see what people posted there. Comments, post, boop, boop, boop. How to do this? How do I freaking do this, man? All right, here we go. I uh, only got a couple comments on this one, so we'll see what they are. What additional things would you be interested in doing while at the Forgotten Angels Campout? Examples, slowest bike race, barrel roll, cornhole, etc. We do the slowest bike race, we do the barrel roll. I'm not very good at them. In fact, I said I was never gonna do a slow race anymore, ever. Uh, <laughs> cornhole would be fun. I like playing cornhole, that's a fun game. I don't know, I would like to see some non-bike related games. I think that'd be cool if we had like uh, I mean, I don't want to say axe throwing, but that would be awesome. Uh, or even like just a chugging contest or something like that would be fun. <laughs> that'd be that'd be pretty neat to see. Uh, what's your favorite Canadian whiskey? Um, I'm trying to think of what it's called. Black Velvet, I think. So when I went to this bar in New York called the Canuck, it, it was obviously a Canadian bar. It was run by a guy from Canada and he had the special which was called the black and blue and it was a big like a not even just a tall boy like a big labat blue and a shot of black velvet i think canadian whiskey i used to go get it all the time and it was delicious <laughs> uh what would a motorcycle look like in bizarro world uh well i think it would probably look like uh the 1300 Yamaha bolts that I saw, which was like just absolutely Frankenstein together. Uh, somehow it works, and I don't know how because it, yeah, I mean, it looks like it is about to fall apart, but then like you actually, you know, get on it, look at it, see it, whatever, and you realize that it is a solidly built, really awesome machine. Uh, just looks like it is uh, tainted. <laughs> do the chickens have large talons i have no idea what you're saying right now well dang man i didn't think that would be it but it looks like that might be yeah that was all the comments there that was all the comments there boom that's it guys there is uh no more i think this was kind of interesting and fun remember if you want to be entered to win this awesome Core time pieces watch right here. Look at this. Look, focus. There it is. Ooh. Yeah, if you look, the uh, the hour hand and the minute hand is a switchblade, and the second hand is a drop of blood. It also has a rotating bezel. Uh, it's really, really nice on this NATO strap. Comes with this zippered carrying case that you can put it in for travel or anything like that. This thing is nice, dude. This thing is so freaking nice. I want to keep it. <laughs> But we're raffling it off, $20, get you a spot, get you a spot, going towards the Forgotten Angels uh, compound, the Forgotten Angels Association, whatever you wanna call it. I call it compound just because it just always has been for me, but yeah, association, anything like that, and right on. Go check the links down in the description below. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to join up in my Discord, uh, we just, uh, you just go down there and join up on the Patreon. Costs as little as $1 a month and you get to join up on the uh, Discord. We're planning up some meetings right now. We're planning up some camping trips, everything like that. So if you want to be part of it, you know what to do. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Hopefully, I'll be able to get out and do a video outside sometime soon. Uh, it's going to be rainy all week which sucks for outside videos, but it is good because all of the ice, all of the snow, all of the salt, everything, it's gonna be washed off the road. I don't know, hopefully we'll be able to get out and do something next week. We'll see. See ya.